like this. Something like that, and just um, exper experiment with the um, the layer modes. So you gotta find something that's not too bright, but maybe a darker one. I don't know, soft light perhaps. Yeah, something like that. I believe looks all right. Um, oh wow. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, something like that. And maybe you can add one of these flame layers above if you want. Yeah, that looks okay. So let me see, where are we now? Okay, maybe we want to shrink it a bit in. Just grab the eraser tool and just um, go wild. No, I'm just kidding. Just um, make it a little bit thinner. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm just a perfectionist. So um, now what you want to do is you want to add an outer glow to it. So go to right click and uh, blending options and outer glow and make it red. So yeah, that looks nice, I think. Ah, oh, maybe too much. Maybe set it to something else, like overlay. Yeah, it's up to you. Then you want to make the beam. So this problem was, <laughs> a lot of people had it and it's really easy. You just select the pen tool and what you guys used was the uh, uh, shape layers, I believe. Yeah, shape layers. Uh, and then this happens. So it's, it gets filled. So what you want to do is just um, click this one. And then it's solved. So just start someplace here. And just bend it like you want. Well, this is just okay. Hold Alt and click the anchor to remove this uh, the one hand and try to make it as smooth as possible. Okay, this is just going badly. Yeah, something like that. This just looks shitty, but um, yeah. So select a brush and go to the basic brushes select like a three or four yeah three looks good and the color you want white then go back to the pen tool click p and uh, right click the path and stroke path so you uh, drop down this menu and click gear uh, brush and simulate pressure so that gives us a nice beam and delete the path afterwards. And you want to make sure that it's on top of everything. So yeah, here, here it's a bit fucked up. Uh, excuse my language. Um, then you want to grab the eraser tool and just um, make the hardness uh, 100% and delete the parts that you want to be behind uh, the girl. So something like that, maybe I should zoom in, despite the pixels. Okay, so this is looking all right. And some of you wanted to make the, the tips uh, thinner or something like that. So you just go to um, the eraser tool, we are at the eraser tool, and you just do like this, maybe, oh that was too much, let's see here, I believe that's alright, and you want to do the same on the other side, something like that, 
and um, add a blend at add the blending option. Yeah, add an outer glow at blending options. Go to white, no red. Sorry. Um, click OK. I think hundred percent is good. Maybe not. Yeah, six or five at uh, the width. Um, yeah, that looks all right. And you want to um, make the edges red or something. Uh, some of you asked about that too, as well. And it's pretty obvious, actually. Um, just do the same thing as it did with the flames. And it looks good. Oh, wow. Let me see, that looks all right. Maybe duplicate it and have some fun with the layer, the layer modes, blending options, whatever you want to call it. I'm just really tired now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, now we want to change some things here. Um, just duplicate the layer of the girl and change it to overlay and then press ctrl b and uh, set the the midtones the red midtone all the way up and some yellow and click ok and then ctrl u i believe no um ctrl u on the flame layer click colorize and drag it all the way up and it should be nice yeah something like that and if you want to just um, uh, uncheck the gradient uh, layer and create a new layer on top and go to image apply image and click OK and just uh, set it to whatever you like just experiment I love experimenting with these uh, blending modes but uh, I guess none of them look really well. So I might just leave it. <laughs> a color dodge, maybe I'll pass it down a bit. Yeah, give it some extra pop or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my final result. I know it's not as good as, uh, as the original, but now you know how to do it and uh, I hope you liked it. So. Remember to subscribe, rate and comment and um, yeah, uh, just uh, look forward to the next tutorial. Bye guys.